yourself. It's your girl Hetty Amen and it's your girl Hetty Amen. Yes, welcome back to another episode of the Chit Chat with Hetty Amen, where we talk about relationships, girl talk, we chat about everything, everything for our well-being. We say it here. So I want to say thank you for coming. If you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe. And if I'm all savvy, thank you for always coming back for more. So, in today's video, we are talking about things to discuss with your partner before marriage yes i have my ring i got married recently and for some reason i am not an expert but you guys keep asking me certain questions that make me feel like i should be of a good sister be of a, that big sister who is always going to be here to share her experience along the way I am not perfect. I'm not a marriage uh, advisor or counselor. I'm not a relationship expert. I'm just here to, you know, give you what I have learned along the journey. I want to say my hair is by my company, HVP Wigs. Follow HVP Wigs on Instagram or Hetty's Beauty Parlor for your makeup. Yes, my makeup is looking lovely. And this two piece is from Shein. Let's get started. So, the things you need to ask your or you need to discuss with your partner before marriage and when you get to that commitment uh, the commitment stage and you know he asks you out he promised to marry you or when you see you guys are very um um uh, committed to each other you know where you are going and that this thing is leading somewhere then you guys need to you know discuss these things that we are going to talk about it is 10 so the first and foremost okay it says um one it says vision and purpose for your life um both of you need to know what is the vision you have what purpose do you have for your life like for instance you you have to ask yourself and have to know what do you stand for what, what are your short-term goals in five years or your long-term goals in 10 years where do you wish to be where do you even wish to live like some people wish to be in abroad and some also wish to go back to their country to settle down so you guys need to know these things together so that you know where you are going okay if one will forfeit their dreams for the other you need to discuss these things and as and as time goes on you need to figure it out a way or two and then the second one says financial expectations listen most of us nowadays are scared to talk about money money side of relationships i remember in my previous relationship before i got married i mean we never talked about finances so my next relationship that i'm in that got me into marriage i told myself finances is going, is going to be something we're going to talk about uh let me have an idea of how much you might have in your account i also declare what i have my businesses what i am worth um, what I get out of every business that I make uh, Roughly figure of how much I make for my work even my businesses like this is all part of transparency If your partner in your serious relationship stage or fiance stage or someone who has engaged you So now you still don't know how much roughly they earn in a month. What are the expenses? What what are their personal expenses? and other financial burdens some have loans you need to talk to them you expecting to live a luxurious life and how are you willing to work hard towards it how are you willing to how far are you willing to go in terms of hustling with your partner together or are you the type or like are you the type who will always expect the husband to be the one going in and traveling and working to bring man home are you the housewife type are you the work from home type like do you guys have to discuss and one way or the other you have to figure out how to help each other in terms of your finances and children how many children you want to raise how do you want to raise them do you want to wait after marriage who is going to discipline them and then what are your uh, belief system? There's some people who just don't want to have kids in relationship or in marriage. So know your partner. Is your partner the type who, is, who wants to wait like a year or two after marriage before starting to have kids? Or are you the one who wants to have kids instantly, quickly after marriage? Who is going to um, discipline the kids when they fault? Is it only the dad who is 
in the capacity to discipline the kids when they fall or the mom can discipline them when we were kids we hear that you will be there when your dad comes i'll report you to him and he will cane you meaning in that house it's the dad who only disciplines the kids and the mom is the one the one who is pampering type and all that know how many kids you want if one partner says i want three the other one says i want five listen find a way to balance it and how do you raise them do you want your kid to have a good background go to the best schools and then you have to know that you need to work hard today save up for the kids future as commitment to family what are your commitments to this family that you guys are going to have what are your commitments there are some people who just want to come into marriage or into relationship for just no reason some people just want to be with you and they're not willing to even work to help you or help the family pay up the bills, live a certain lifestyle or be comfortable. You need to know the type of lifestyle you guys want. Is your husband the low-key type who doesn't want to go out? Are you rather the one who is always going out, who wants to have fun, have date night? I would love to go to date night once, you know, once and every while, okay? Like anniversary dates or at least once a month let your partner know the kind of lifestyle you live will give a signal to your husband to be or your partner to be that okay this is the type this is the type of girl this girl is so when we are married or when we are together we need to have you know regular day to spice up sometimes you have all the foods in your house but just a little date i'll just spend 20 50 euro it doesn't hurt that is where you ask yourself, how committed are you? Committed to work, committed to hustle together, to build and invest and make properties together. And commitment to, you know, have some time off the regular duties, our homework and off the kids to have, you know, some private and intimate dates as couples, okay? Gender expectations. So roles you expect from him only or roles you guys have to do together so in my relationship we don't lay out that you have to do this a guy does this my wife is the only one who does this no we all play our role we give him 100 100 we don't do 50 50 like oh maybe he pay the bills i do this he cleans i do this maybe i'm the only one who cooks I'm fortunate enough to have a good husband who is very supportive. He can support me in the kitchen. He can help. You know, I have a busy schedule, like I'm constructing waves, shipping waves. I do uh, makeup on the weekends. He will drive me. When I am tired, I will go to work. I will come back. He cooks something. Um, then we eat together. Know the type of relationship or know the type of partner you have. Is your are your partner the one who feels like the lady's place is solely in the kitchen, and that if you don't cook, it's going to be a trouble or a problem in the house? Find these things so that when you are married, it's not going to be an issue. You are human. I remember when, we, like in our first month of marriage, I felt like I wanted to do everything myself. Oh, baby, please don't cook. I'll cook. I'll do this. Don't be doing this. It goes to a time like, come on, we are all in this together. If he wants to assist you, come on, accept it. Okay, accept it. So, I don't have a specific role. We, we all do what we can to help the relationship. But there are others that it's the woman's or the lady's role to be in the kitchen. And that's it. So, find out these things as well relocation um as i said earlier on um if you are dating somebody now or you 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 are in the phase of getting married by right now you should know your your partner's plan is your partner the one who would wish to travel somewhere is your partner the one who would wish to go back to where they came from to settle down is your partner the one who who wish to live in another location five or ten years from now and ask yourself, are you also willing to forgo your dreams to, you know, chase after her and then be with her for wherever location he or she wants to be? If you're not ready, you guys should discuss this. Then there's no sense in dating somebody where you know that, okay, this person would want to maybe, in my case, 
we are from Ghana, so maybe my husband would want to go back and settle back in Ghana, maybe in 10 years to come. And in 10 years to come, maybe I see my business booming so much here that I wouldn't want to risk and go anywhere. If it's a problem, you guys should sit down together, discuss it, and know what's the way out. If it happens, how are you also going to plan and think for the other that has to leave uh, wherever she is comfortable now? What are the avenues for her? What are the uh, opportunities you can also create for her? Are you going to set up a business for her? And then you are going to continue the dreams you are going for. So you guys have to know all these baggage. Financial and emotional. We have some people who already have their financial baggage. It's like people have debts. They have credit card debts. They have bank loans. They have rain, unpaid rents. They have unpaid bills that are piling up. And each and every time there are interest rates going on these things. You have to know your partner, know the kind of lifestyle they live. Are they living above what they earn? And then do they have any bills? Do they have any debt? Do they have car loans? Do they have um, 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 house mortgages? And other stuff that it is with them. When you get married to them, automatically you are also in that debt. So how are you going to sort these things out? And emotional baggage. If you know that by now, you are in this relationship and then this relationship is hurting somewhere but you still have insecurities you have trust issues which is not from your recent person but from your exes or your past relationship and that you don't trust people anymore you have trust issues you need to sort these things out ask yourself are there any emotional baggages i mean your past relationship people did certain things to you you are hurt and that you you have come to this new relationship you have it in your mind still and you always you always think this new person is also um unfaithful or on disloyal you need to sort these things out if you have issues with yourself as a person you need to sort them out yourself be stable before you enter into this relationship or you enter into then uh, transparency transparency in everything transparency in your finances transparency in your day-to-day -day activities i know transparency is a broad topic it is actually kind of you know not so easy it is not a one day thing to you know be successful or to be good at i mean i also was not that fully transparent but as the relationship grows and goes through different stages and levels up, you are soon and suddenly going to be relaxed and you ease yourself off everything that you are piling up. You have to be transparent with your finances, transparent with your emotions. You, f you say what you feel and what you don't feel, you don't say it. You communicate your true feelings, your true emotions and your true intentions. But I know that we are not perfect as time goes on. You guys will help each other grow and you grow together and you overcome these issues. So the next one is your finances. How much do you earn? How much do you have? How much do you see yourself, like your self-care? How are you going to fund your future life? What are your financial goals for each other nine to five forever or you want your businesses together do you want accounts together do you want to do stay away moms will he fund your upkeep what i want to say is, is that money makes and breaks marriages um as i said how much do you earn i need to know at least a rough figure how much do you spend on your bills, your rent and everything? How much roughly do you spend on your self-care? As a lady, maybe every month I would want to buy a new wig. It's an example. Maybe I want to buy a new wig every three months. I want to shop online. You know, know yourself and what actually goes into your expenditure in a month. Let him know. As day in, day out, you go out, you talk. Let him know the kind of lifestyle you live and how much you earn how much is even in your bank account if you think you want to marry somebody at this time and he doesn't he or she doesn't know the amount roughly that is in your bank account 
who are you surprising who are you challenging who are you hiding like you are not ready for marriage yes i say so your in-laws he says uh, money for your in-laws and bringing in-laws in so one topic you guys can never take out before you get married is talking about your in-laws um get to know the type of in-laws you have is your are your in-laws the one that comments almost about everything are your in-laws that accepting ones they take you for who you are they know what you do and that they understand what you do and that they will not criticize you maybe they always see you online looking glamorous there are some in-laws who are going to think that hey my son is sponsoring this new girl with all his money she's always looking good online or pray to have an in-law who understands you that hey this is what you've been doing this is what you've been doing even before you met their son and that this is where you are or this is the kind of life you live and you are responsible for all that you've ever owned that way they will understand that it's not their it's not their son that is spending all their money on you okay and then um know if your partner is the one who is always bringing in their in-laws hey i'll tell my mom hey i'll tell my dad hey my mom said this my sister said this know how you guys are going to talk about these um, um in-law stuff is it allowed when we are married that your in-law can come to your home your married house and maybe spend two three days is it going to be allowed you guys have to know about this so that it wouldn't be surprises that hey we are married after two months your in-law wants to come and visit you for like one month if it's a no-no for you discuss with your husband you want that if there is an issue then there's a misunderstanding would you allow your partner to call in your parents or your family to come in to intervene if you don't allow it let them know so that if you have any issue he's not going to call like hello Hetty's mom um please something happened yesterday and i want you to talk to Hetty. if it's a no-no for you to don't entertain it last bonus is um genotype and then cultural expectations and religion why do i say this genotype is a bonus i have lived in ghana for like 22 years of my life and never visited a ghana colleges but here you are to visit a ghana colleges at least once a year when you turn 18 and above or so at least you have a friendship with these ghana colleges you tell them their issues your psycho problems your pains your crimes and whenever you are ready to get married and you're expecting you want to expect a baby you talk to them they tell you okay there are two issues here and there you need to tackle before you get ready to get married and they sort these things out even before you get married so that if there are issues it doesn't happen after marriage and you have to know your blood group your genes if your blood group doesn't work together if your genes wouldn't allow you guys to be together yes you guys love yourself but your genes doesn't work together your blood group ain't gonna help so what do you do? does he normally talk against you maybe wearing um exposing stuff maybe you show some of your cleavage maybe you show you wear um high, uh, high waist and then a crop top he doesn't like that kind of dressing he doesn't like your cleavage showing he doesn't like maybe too tight or what what is his belief um what church what church does he go and then what are the principles or, or, or laws in the church that he doesn't want the wife to be to have problems with the church that he in the future will take her to does your husband mind you wearing maybe extra long hair does your husband to be mind you putting on makeup there are people who don't make who don't want makeup they don't want their partners to have makeup they want minimal I, my partner knows me that I can go basic if I want to and I can switch up real quick if I want to. He sees my my both sides when I don't have any makeup on, when I am in my trash days, when I'm going to work, when I'm having, you know, rough days and up and down. And when I want to glam up like I'm looking here, he knows I can do it and I can do it better because I make the works myself. I am the boss. I may I do makeup myself. So when I want to get up, 
I can get up. So if he says he doesn't like it, how do we come into compromise so that we know that, okay, hello, baby, I'm not going to do makeup all the time. Even my shadows will not allow me. Even though maybe I would want you, but hey, on Sundays when we are going to church, I'm going to look good. Is it okay for you? Or when we are going out, I'm going to do makeup so that I look yummy for you. You guys have to come in between, in the middle, and then, you know, compromise and understand certain things. These are 10 topics you guys need to discuss together. It is not a one-day thing that you're going to find answers to all these things that I have told you. Day in, day out, try a way to find out. And you are not going to ask him or her directly that, what is your black group? Uh, um, um, how are you willing to spend your money with me and all that? As you grow together, as you work together, that is called that is why it's called the dating stage. Dating to know the person more regards to all these things. Some of the things you wouldn't have to ask them verbatimly, but their kind of lifestyle, what they choose, their choices will make you know the kind of person they are. If an area in this topic doesn't favor you or you are not okay with based on how you assume they think or they would be try and discuss with him hey baby what's up hi yeah so do you have any plans of going back to your country in any time soon or later in 10 years do you think we will be able to work here forever are you okay working like nine to five every time are you okay with me disciplining the kids or i will always have to wait for you maybe when our kids misbehave i'll have to wait till daddy comes i mean these are just petty petty ways to find uh, uh answers to your questions so take it one at a time and you will get there but be sure of these things before you get married if not, you are going to be surprised with a lot of things and in your first month or two or the first year of your marriage, you're going to live in the surprises even though you've stayed or been in a relationship with this person for like six years or more or less, you're still going to see and find out that you don't even know a lot about your partner. So thank you for watching. It's your girl Hetty Amens and today's chit chat with Hetty Amens, we talked about 10 things to discuss with your partner before you guys get married. Thank you. I am not a married expert. I'm also sharing my experience as I go and thank you and don't forget to subscribe and then hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Comment in the comment section if you have some tips you will give, you know, already married people or yet to be married people. Let's keep learning and then share to any friend you think would be of help. Thank you for watching. It's your girl Hetty. Amen.